thanks for joining us today. I'm Kenna. I'm an intern over at the Denver Botanic Gardens, who's also working with the Denver Medicinal Plant Society to bring you these videos. I'm joined today by my friend and fellow intern, Ashley, as we make a holy basil infused honey. Thank you, Kenna. And that sounds awesome. I know. So, <laughs> holy basil is a really, it has a really unique and a sweet smell due to the oils and its dry terpenes. Um, it's really great to use as an anti-inflammatory and anti spasmodic, a tonic, um, antimicrobial, and an expectorant. Perfect. Awesome. So thank you, Ashley. So to start, um, we'll take a glass jar and then we're going to put our fresh holy basil leaves in there. You can use dry or fresh. Um, these are actually dry, which I think is probably better. The water content can make them get moldy after a while, so dry is usually easier. Out of this jar here. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're cheating a little bit. Oh, would you mind? <laughs> Thank you. We might make a little bit of a mess. And that's that's all part of science. Making a mess. <laughs> it's in the name of science. That's right. All for science. All right. Perfect. All right, Ashley, you want to do me the honors? All right. So you're just gonna pour the honey over the top. And the lighter the flavor of honey you get, the better because it won't compete with the holy basil flavor. So, yeah, this is gonna be. Just tell me when. Okay. <laughs> Just keep going. All right. Yeah, this is looking really good. Yeah, this looks beautiful. And you guys can't smell it in here, but it smells amazing. Yeah, it really does. It's really hard to describe the smell of holy basil, but it's so sweet. All right. That's probably good. So then you're gonna take a spoon or a chopstick um, and then just stir it and then we'll seal it. <laughs> Perfect. So how best do you think we're gonna store this, Ashley? Definitely in a cool, dry place. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that if you want the flavor to be stronger, you would keep this in the jar and store it for a little bit longer. I think it's a five day minimum, yep. if I remember correctly. Yeah. So, and then you can use this um, pretty much on anything, like toast or whatever. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a big thank you to Ashley here for helping us out.